thought lyrics had to be strictly emotionally based. And for some people, they are, and they do a great job of it. I don't. There was always these, pro, you know, these vague pronouns about this, it, and they uh, doing that and this to me over and over and over again. And there's a lot of that in our early material. You want to know my political persuasion? Well, sugar, I Sometimes there'll be a concept that I'm thinking about uh, when I'm practicing in the morning before the guys come over. Um, it might be an exercise or uh, just a particular subdivision or a way of looking at a, at a, a groove. But John Paul is automatically going to play something on the drums that I would never you know, find in a computer system or replicate on a drum machine. And so uh, you know, right off the bat, that's going to um, bring something unique out of what I'm going to end up trying to play to accompany that. We did two sessions for Transnational where we had a lot of vague pronouns in the lyrics for the first half and then on the second batch of songs I realized it was a lot easier for me to tell a story or at least try to tell a story about a character or a set of circumstances and that gave me a lot more freedom. You know we, we have been playing together for so long and we know each other's styles and it's just so comfortable to just start jamming something completely off the cuff. The best clutch riffs come from us sitting together in a room and just jamming them out, just uh, throwing out idea after idea and uh, you know, trying to sort out what's the best. For me, it's important to, to make it music as, as soon as you can. That idea might completely evolve to where I don't even use that original concept anymore, but it's a starting point. Inspiration, I think, most of the time happens when I'm least expecting it. And when I sit down at my desk to write, I stare at the paper, and then I stare at the paper some more, and the next thing you know, I've, I've written nothing. But then the next day, I'll just be driving down the road, and then something will pop into my head inexplicably, and I'll try to remember it and write it down later. Uh, the reason I, I think I'm drawn to some of those historical figures or, or mythological figures is because there's a backstory that everybody knows. So if you drop that name, the Yeti or the Medusa. The wolf man is coming out. Party's over you. I got to go. All of a sudden the song becomes that much bigger and it, it does so much more work for you. Maybe it's just a cop out, but I'm going to keep copying out because I enjoy it. Whatever the focus is of that, uh, particular passage. It's my job as a drummer to support it with time and best complement that sound as I can. Um, it's not about uh, throwing a bunch of chops into one particular piece. There's a much bigger picture that you have to be cognizant of. With each successive attempt at rewriting something, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And then I'll go back to the very first one I did and realize that one was the right one all along. Like Marlon Brando, but bigger. John Wilkes Booth was written literally 45 minutes to half an hour before it was tracked. And I think the panic of that and the stress of that made these very, very strange uh, turns of phrase come out. Maybe it's my take on the rap style boast. I can't really think of a good reason to stop at this point, you know. There's more reasons to do it than there are not to do it. In a lot of ways, we've, we've learned to play our instruments together. So we're, I think, unique in that respect. See, the band is a sum greater than its parts. You know, every night any one of these uh, guys will do something that you know, catches me off guard and I think that is what keeps our fans interested in our music and I think that's what keeps us going as well. If you take out one member of the band, it's no longer the band anymore. The musical interplay between, you know, these four people is definitely something that's unique and can only be, you know, replicated by these four people, I believe.
the, the sound is, is really the four of us coming together to make music and you can't, you can't replace that and you can't uh, fake that. It comes a point in your life where you ask yourself, what have I done with it? And to, to be able to look back and say that you entertained people is a pretty cool thing. You made people smile and you made people dance and that's a good thing, I think. Folks, thank you very much.